Does alcohol ruin your physique? I get asked a lot about alcohol on Instagram and I've got no idea why. For the record, I think it's fair to say that nobody is drinking alcohol thinking that it's accelerating their gym progress. You are probably just wondering how much you can drink before it fucks it up. So first things first, alcohol contains more calories per gram than protein or carbohydrates at 7.1. However, it also has a higher thermic effect than carbohydrates or fat at approximately 20%. In terms of body weight, we must factor in the calories from the alcohol itself, as well as anything that we mix it with. So if you're like me and you're partial to a sugary cocktail or two, the calories can really tally up. And to make things worse, alcohol has consistently shown to be a poor regulator of appetite. It's common for people to consume alcohol calories in addition to their regular diet without compensating by eating less elsewhere. In terms of hunger, there is likely a dose-dependent effect with this. One study had a non-alcoholic lager laced with both one and four units of alcohol, and four units of alcohol increased hunger and subsequent food intake. It is important to note that there is likely to be a large inter-individual variance with this, so whilst alcohol encourages people to eat more, there might be a subset of people that actually eat less. So alcohol calories can tally up fast, and a lot of people might suddenly really fancy a family-sized pizza and a bag of chips. But calories aside, how much can alcohol impact muscle gain? In one study on men, 12 drinks consumed post-workout alongside protein suppressed muscle protein synthesis by 24% when compared to protein alone. Alcohol post-workout has also been shown to impair muscle recovery, again in a dose-dependent format where the lower intake had no significant impact but the higher intake did. But interestingly, it looks like there are big differences between how males and females respond to alcohol. One study showed that post-workout alcohol suppressed the anabolic signaling mTOR pathway in men but not in women. Research on testosterone in men varies from testosterone levels going up in response to alcohol to testosterone levels having no change or going down, which again is likely to be a dose-dependent effect, with studies showing an increase in testosterone being associated with lower intakes and decreases in testosterone being linked with higher intakes, whereas females appear to react very differently. Some studies show that male testosterone levels decline, whereas females actually go up. And this is also influenced by age. So, summing this all up, what can we conclude? If you consume a small amount occasionally, you probably aren't going to notice any significant impact on your body composition. But if you consume large amounts more regularly, you may have worse effect on appetite and food intake, you may have worse muscle recovery and muscle building in general, and chances are your workout productivity is going to fall to shit. Because, let's be honest, if you wake up heavily hungover in a stranger's bed, chances are you're not going to kill your workout that day.